Luke Hanrahan, ITV News, Newham. The biggest computer game expo in Europe opened at London's Elf Court today. Thousands are expected to turn up to test out the latest technologies and games at Eurogamer before they hit the shops. The event comes as one of the UK's brightest tech stars has warned that not enough women are being encouraged to work in digital technology. Well, Londoner Anne-Marie Imaphidon runs all-female hackathons and computer programming workshops to get more girls to embrace their inner geek. And Anne-Marie joins us now. Thanks very much. Um, now, the number of women working in technology is in decline both here and in the States, isn't yeah. it? And in fact, when you were studying at, at Oxford, you were one of only three girls doing computer science out of a, a, a class of 70. Yeah. So why do you think that is? I think there's an image problem in the industry. I think girls don't see themselves kind of in this a boys thing. It's not something for them to do. And um, I think that kind of puts up a, a barrier. I think also that there's a lack of role models as well in the industry. So there are only certain women, maybe like Sheryl Sandberg or Marissa Meyer, that we're aware of. But when we look further down the ranks at kind of women like Jenny Griffiths, for example, who's just starting up her technology company, people barely know about her. Even Steve, Sher Steve Shirley, yeah. for example, who's quite big uh, a while ago, and people in my generation have no idea who she is. So there needs to be more at the forefront so women realise it's, it's a job that they can do. Exactly. But, you know, two th I think it's 85% of those getting degrees uh, in technology and en engineering are men. So mm. is it from very much a school level that we need to start encouraging more girls to do things like computer science and technology? Absolutely. So if we look last year, I think it was 8% of those who studied computer science at A-level were girls. So they're not choosing the subjects further down, they're not choosing them at GCSE or at A-level, which means that it's, diff it's more difficult for them mm -hmm. to break into the industry. So it's definitely an attitude that we need to change, and probably even lower down the pipeline. But when we get to, to the top end of things, two-thirds of women who do actually do science and technology aren't going into what they call STEM, science, technology, engineering and mathematics. Um, and actually we spoke uh, earlier to um, a, a gentleman from PlayStation UK who thought he had some kind of idea of why that's happening. Well, I think it all starts with education and, you know, part of my work with our industry body, UKI, is about skills development and training through schools. So lots of work on curriculum for computer science, for example. I think gaming has been seen as a bit male, a bit highly technical. I think it's one of the benefits, actually, of this smartphone and tablet revolution is that it's broken down a lot of the barriers. It's shown that it can be easy. It's not necessarily technical and, and complicated. So many, many routes in for many people to enjoy lots of varied experiences. Is he correct when he talks about the fact that it used to be a bit too technical for females to, to consider going into? Um, I, I don't completely agree. I think at the beginning um, you actually had more females going into technical roles when it was kind of punch cards. It was seen as a female thing to do. Um, I, I do agree with him though that kind of tablets and smartphones have meant that it's a lot more accessible for girls to feel like it's something they can go into. I think the bigger problem with even with those girls that study STEM and don't go into it is the fact that there's a lack of awareness of the breadth of role. So we talk a lot about programming, but you don't have to be a programmer to work yeah. within technology. You have UX designers, you have product managers, you have business analysts, you have so there's a plethora of roles. Yeah. You know, even just in technology, when we start talking yeah. about engineering, it completely it expands a yeah. lot. So it's yeah. awareness of the different roles that you can Absolutely. do with that STEM. Absolutely. Well, Anne-Marie, thank you very much for joining us. No the ITV News team.